What's the first principles argument for why evolution just discards us so easily? Yeah, so I think there, there are a couple different ways one can tackle this. One is you have to think about what's the selective pressure that would make one live longer right. and encode for higher health over longer durations. Right. There's another, which is, are there any anti-selective pressures that are actually pushing against that? And there's a third piece of this, which is something like the constraints of your optimizer. And the optimizer is natural selection. Yeah. And so this brings us back to some very hypothetical questions, things like, what was the baseline hazard rate? during the majority mm. of human and private evolution. The hazard rate is simply, what is the likelihood you're going to die on any given day? And that integrates everything. That's like diseases from aging, that's getting eaten by a tiger, that's falling off a cliff, that's like scraping your foot on a rock and getting an infection and dying from that. And so from the best evidence we have, the baseline hazard rate was very, very high. <laughs> and so even absent aging, you're unlikely to actually reach those outer limits of possible health where aging is one of the main limitations. And so the number of individuals in the population that are going to make it later in that lifespan where using some of your evolutionary updates to try and actually push your lifespan upward is relatively limited. So the amount of gradient signal flowing back to the genome then is not as high as one might intuitively think. If you have this high hazard rate, that would imply that you can't be a kid for too long because you got to, you know... The kids die all the time, and you got to become an adult so that you can have your kids. Yeah, you got to uh, contribute resources yeah. back to the group. You can't right. just be a freeloader. You need exactly. to get calories, go out in the jungle, get some right. berries. So that's one out of three components of uh, the evolutionary story. <laughs> so, so then the next piece of the evolutionary story is like, is there anything selecting against longevity? Like, okay, let's just pretend everything I said was wrong. Can I still make an argument that maybe evolution hasn't maximally optimized uh, our, for our longevity? There's this notion of what's called kin selection, that if you sort of take a selfish v gene view of the world, that really this is the genome optimizing for the genome's propagation. It's not trying to optimize for any one individual. Then actually optimizing for longevity is a pretty tricky problem because you have this natural nasty regularization term, which is that if you're able to make a member of the population live longer, but you don't counteract it, also counteract the decrease in their fitness over time, meaning you maybe extend maximum lifespan, but you haven't totally eliminated aging, then the number of net calories contributed to the genome as a function of that person's marginal year and their own calorie consumption is less than if you were to allow that individual to die and actually have two 20-year-olds, for instance, that, that sort of follow behind them. And so there is a notion by which a population being laden demographically with many aged individuals, even if they did have fecundity persisting out some period later in life, is actually net negative for the genome's proliferation. And then the third point was? The third piece is basically optimization constraints. Yeah. The max number of variations in the genome is set by your mutation rate. If you dial your mutation rate up too high, you probably get a bunch of cancers, so you're, select you're selected against. If you have it too low, you can't really adapt to anything. So you end up with this happy medium, but that limits your total step size. And then the number of variants you can screen in parallel is basically limited by your population size. And so for most of evolution, there were lots of forces constraining population size as well. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.